good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be addressing something that I probably get commented on, like, every day. Probably at least once a week, I will get a comment on one of my videos telling me to do a pay-per-view on the pick fed of MDT Live versus Vindication. The pink brand versus the blue brand. I get it all the freaking time. People want to know. People want to hear it. They want to see it, man. They want to see both brands go to war. There's always a rivalry. I get people commenting in the comment section, MDT Live sucks. Vindication sucks. Blue brand's better. Roman Reigns is better. Yada, yada, yada. Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be answering the questions. I said you know what, Brad? If we were going to book a Survivor Series light pay-per-view with MDT Live versus Vindication, Raw versus SmackDown, just like we see in WWE, I wanted to make this thing possible, so I took to my notes and I wrote up a card. I wrote out a match card, and I'm going to deliver that to you guys today. We're going to see who would win, who, you know, what the predictions would be. I'd like to know your thoughts on the card itself. What would you like to see? Maybe you guys have better match ideas than I do, but we're going to break this thing down. At first, I had like two or three different cards trying to come up with it. I honestly wanted to do a Survivor Series card, you know, where you have the traditional Survivor Series matchup, and then I wanted to do, you know, your champions versus champion, and then I also wanted to do a other card where I just did, you know, sort of a fantasy booking idea, but then that kind of fell through. I didn't really like the way it was going. It was kind of difficult to get my thoughts right, so I just went back to the traditional Survivor Series card, and I'm going to deliver that to you guys today, and we're going to settle it. You guys are going to vote down in the comment section who would win in this card between MDT Live Vindication. Let's go ahead and dive in guys starting off with our first matchup. So for the first matchup guys I am going to go with the Survivor Series traditional 5 on 5s. Now for this one I am not including any of the champions. I did not want to include any of the champions. I wanted to have the champions in their own football games. You know I wanted to have them in their own stuff. I didn't want to include them in their own matches so I did leave them out of the traditional series 5 on 5. I actually had a really difficult time coming up with these teams because uh, both rosters are completely stacked and you remove the champions and then you have to come up with some guys that are mid-card guys but both teams or both rosters are so stacked it was hard to leave out a guy but I think I ultimately got it guys so on MDT Live we do have Seth Rollins obviously Royal Rumble winner number one contender for the MDT championship right now going into My Damn Nation he's going to be our team captain I felt like that was probably the most appropriate I also have a really big name I have CM Punk you know he puts ass is in seats. I thought that would be a really good guy to plug on the team. I know he got taken out by Ziggler at Hell's Gate, but he's still a really big name and a guy that puts asses in seats, so I feel like you can't leave CM Punk off of the MDT Live team. Next up, we have an up-and-coming talent. We went with Velveteen Dream. So the third member of our Survivor Series team for MDT Live is Velveteen Dream. I had to include the other half of the Broken Up Shield right now. I went with Dean Ambrose. You know, he's been pretty red-hot ever since, you know, turning on Seth Rollins, and you know, he's got a a lot of momentum going for him, so I went ahead and put Dean Ambrose here, and then the fifth and final spot was really difficult for me. I nailed it down to a few guys. I had Jeff Hardy, Dolph Ziggler, Cedric Alexander, or Rob Van Dam. Now, you can do with that whatever you will. You could even put John Cena in this spot if you wanted to, and I think for this moment, I am going to put John Cena, so I am going to put John Cena in the final spot, and that is our team right there. MDT Live's team is a stacked-ass team. This is a stacked-ass team. The only thing that, you know, would be creating issues would probably be Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. Could they get along? Could that matchup even take place? We would have to find out. But on paper, if everything went in a perfect world and the team worked together cohesively, this would be a stacked-ass team. Now, if we move things over, over to the blue brand, I feel like you can't really do this team without Bray Wyatt. Now, Bray Wyatt, it was down to Bray Wyatt or Aleister Black for the team captain. I feel like, you know, since Aleister Black is a part of the Wyatt cult and he is obeying the commands of Bray Wyatt, I feel like... Uh, our first two members. Bray Wyatt would be the captain. You'd have Aleister Black right behind him. The third member of the team would be Adam Cole. Still beat the hell out of. Our fourth member would be AJ Styles. And the fifth member would be Shinsuke Nakamura. Now this is uh, pretty much your members of the Elimination Chamber and I think this is a perfect team right here and uh, they put all their stuff on the line. This is our first matchup. You have your Survivor Series matchup. MDT Live versus Vindication guys. Who do you think would win in a matchup right here? I would love to see this matchup man. This is a freaking stacked-ass match. I think I'd lose my damn mind if I saw that, but this is matchup number one. Let's get into the rest
rest of the card, guys. Now, be sure to, uh, you know, keep some notes. You know, write down some notes and let me know who your predictions would be, who you would pick, and uh, we're going to see who would win this thing at the end of the day between MDT Live and Vindication. Get the hell out of here. All right, guys, so moving into our next matchup, I mean, it's pretty obvious, right? You got to get into the champions, so we got to go with the MDT champion, Roman Reigns versus the elite champion, Kenny Omega. Now, if you compare these guys' resumes, they're pretty stacked. I think both of them are pretty stacked. Both of them defended the championship in the Elimination Chamber matchup. Both of them overcome all the odds. Kenny Omega did enter the matchup first, and he stayed all the way to the end, but Roman Reigns did outlast the whole field. I know he came in last, but he still had to go through all the rest of the members, and uh, he defeated CM Punk and John Cena to win the championship. Kenny Omega defeated Finn Balor forever ago, longest reigning champion in the pick fed, I think. And this one's a great one on paper. I think this would be a fantasy matchup for a lot of people. I would love to see Kenny Omega versus Roman Reigns. You sort of have, you know, the big WWE business corporate guy in Roman Reigns taking on Kenny Omega if we're talking about, you know, outside world. If we're talking about, if we're talking about the two biggest stars in AEW and WWE, this is probably your matchup right here. But I think it's pretty cool that we have that on MDT Live and, and Vindication. So I think that's pretty sick, nasty. Let me know who you think would win down in the comment section. Now, if we're moving things on to the tag team division, guys, you know we got to get into the tag team champions of each brand. You would have the world tag team champion, Usos, taking on the MDT champion, Young Bucks. Now, this one would be really, really exciting and fun. And honestly, I think I'd have to go with the blue brand. I think the Young Bucks have been on an absolute tear ever since winning the tag team championships from the Revival. They've been putting on great matches, really entertaining stuff, and I have enjoyed their work. The Usos have retained their championships as well, but it looked like they were going to lose their tag titles to Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose had Dean Ambrose not turned on Seth, so maybe the Young Bucks are a little bit better. I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below, but I would love to see this matchup take place, and the more and more I talk about this match card, it's like, holy shit, the more and more I want to actually do this pay-per-view, but I've already got things planned out, so maybe one day we'll get a Survivor Series type matchup between two brands, but let's move on to our next matchup, guys. I think you have to keep it with the Extreme Champion going one-on-one -on -one with the Iron Man Champion, right? You'd have to have KO versus Cody Rhodes, and I hate to say it, Cody Rhodes, but uh, Kevin Owens has been on an absolute tear, and I think he would rip Cody Rhodes' head off. I know that Cody Rhodes is pretty extreme himself. He power-bombed Johnny Gargano off a damn truck and hit his neck on that door. It was probably the most vicious bump I think I've ever seen in a pick-fed story, but holy shit, Kevin Owens is just a freaking assassin out here right now, man, so I would love to see this matchup. I think that Kevin Owens would probably get the upper hand in this, but uh, I would pay to see it. I would love to see it in real life. I would love to see it any capacity. You sign me up, Brad. You put these guys in a death match in the pick fed. I would love to see it. Maybe one day we will, but for now, guys, let me know what you think of this matchup down in the comment section. So that is our fourth matchup, and we have to get into the final title match. Now, this isn't a match that you'd probably expect to see. It may be something we see in AEW maybe one day, but you have Jack Swagger taking on Marty Skrull, and I think it's kind of funny how we have the United States champion taking on the Revolutionary champion, and the Revolutionary champion, it just kind of seems American-ish, doesn't it? It just kind of seems George Washington Revolutionary War, America getting our independence. I don't know. I thought that was pretty funny there. Maybe they could have a freaking flagpole match or something. I don't know. Like, you got to tie in the American elements there. But this is a matchup that uh, probably wouldn't, you know, lift a lot of eyebrows, get a lot of asses and seats for. But I would like to see it nonetheless. I think that you'd have a nice contrasting of styles. But who would win? Would you have Jack Swagger, the All American American, or would you have the Revolutionary Champion, Marty Skrull, who's probably super underrated? A lot of people probably hating on Skrull since he hasn't really defended his championship. And uh, he's just kind of skeeting by, man. I don't know. He may have to pay the price on vindication. We'll have to see. But next up, guys, I do have a few matchups here that uh, I don't have for champions or traditional 5-on-5. Five -five. So I want to get into those matchups before we get the hell out of here. Now, the first matchup I had was Rated RKO, one of the top tag teams on MDT Live. You know, they're probably going to go to war with the Usos by the time we get to My Damn Nation. It seems that the, you know, the stage is set. They attack them after that matchup with Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. But I have Rated RKO going two on two with the Wyatt Colt. Now, this was a matchup that I think is pretty solid. I think it'd be a fun matchup. You know, we got a lot of great work out of the Young Bucks versus the Wyatt Colt, and I think that Rated RKO could bring the same hard-hitting style, and they could uh, bring a different element to the table when taking on the Wyatt Colt. Now, this is a matchup that I would like to see. I don't know about you guys, but who would you pick? Do you think the Wyatt Colt would overcome Rated RKO? Do you think Rated RKO would get the win? Uh, former MDT champion over here, or big-time leaders over here. I don't know. Maybe you want to see Braun Strowman and Kane 
take on Rated RKO. I don't know. Next up, guys, we have another tag team match on the card, and I went with the club, you know, the newest members of Vindication following Hell's Gate, a big-time team coming in, and I have them taking on the Jurassic Express. So you'll have Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy taking on the club. Now, this is one of those matchups that uh, we could potentially see in AEW, and I think this matchup would be damn nice. I'd like to see it. I think it'd be pretty phenomenal. I, for one, don't know who would win either, so I need your guys' help on that. Who do you think would win in this matchup? And uh, that is the next matchup that I wanted to show you to you guys. And now I have one more match. It's more of a comical match, and this would give us an eight-match card. I think that's a perfect amount of matches. Uh, I had one more that I'll probably throw in there. I'm kind of sick to my stomach that we don't have any Jeff Hardy, Cedric Alexander, Dolph Ziggler on the card, but you know what, man? I thought the, uh, the fans would get a kick out of this one, so this is my final matchup on the card. Maybe it could start off the night. Maybe it could get some laughs here, but you have No Way Jose, probably the comical part of MDT Live, going one-on-one -on -one with Orange Cassidy. So you'd have Orange Cassidy taking on No Way Jose in whatever matchup you wanted. I don't think it would freaking matter, man. I think they'd burn it down, man. Everybody loves No Way Jose on MDT Live. Everybody loves Cassidy over on Vindication. So who would you pick, Cassidy or No Way Jose? I thought that would be a pretty fun matchup. But some other matchups that I thought would be great are some guys like uh, Samoa Joe versus RVD. I thought would be a really fun matchup. I thought this would be a good matchup you could throw in there. I think Cedric Alexander and Johnny Gargano would be a good matchup or something like that. Maybe Ziggler and Gargano could tear it up. Jeff Hardy could get in here with some talent over from Vindication. Uh, there's just, uh, I think both rest rosters are absolutely stacked, but that is pretty much the Survivor Series card that I came up with between MDT Live and Vindication. Guys, I want to know what you think down in the comment section below. Who do you think would win the matches? Let me know down in the comment section below. You know, I gotta be biased. I gotta go with MDT Live because that's the brand that I have the most to do with, even though, you know, I do book both shows, I film both shows, I do all the stuff for both shows, and everything does come through me at the end of the day, but, you know, MDT Live is my own creation. I drafted the roster and all that stuff, so I think I would go with the pink brand. But anyways, guys, let me know down below what you would pick for each matchup. Maybe somebody down below p pinned up, you know, the matches, and you guys can comment and vote on it and everything like that down below. But anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching. That is going to do it for this video. Do not forget to leave your votes down in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this. Would you like to see a Survivor Series pay-per-view between MDT Live and Vindication in the future? I'm going to try my best to get Vindication up by the weekend, but do not quote me on that. I'm really trying. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, My Damn Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.